Welcome to the 96th episode of my Proven Sales That Are Breakdown Challenge. So uh, we're in the home stretch uh, for 100 days, uh, actually 96 days so far. I've been breaking down proven ads from the greatest copywriters of all time every single day and making these videos. Uh, and we're almost there, almost at the 100 day mark. But I got a really cool promotion for you today from Clayton Makepeace. Uh, give it up for Clayton. It's called Shameless Two-Faced two SOBs. So talk about an interesting headline, right? Shameless Two-Faced Sons of Bitches. And uh, if you haven't heard about Clayton before, he was one of the greatest copywriters of all time. I covered, I think, four, at least four of his promotions so far. He was uh, a mentor to several other A-list copywriters today, like Carly and Angley Cole, for example. And he, his style, Clayton's style, basically he was the king of emotional the emotional side of direct response copywriting really triggering extremely vivid and strong emotions uh in the target reader uh by sharing stuff you know really agitating them really uh making them feel like they are understood by the copywriter and that's very very important in, in order to create conversion in, in order to create persuasion uh because you got to build this emotional uh whole, emotional um strong uh how should i say i don't even know how to say it this mm, this oomph type of thing okay you really have to build it in order to uh convince people to buy your stuff. Um, and uh, the better you can do it, uh, the more you'll sell as a copywriter and the more money you'll make. And one of the secrets that Clayton used to do this was to, first of all, do a lot of great research so that you discover the real pains, fears, hopes, and dreams of your target audience. And secondly, to use a lot of evocative language, a lot of dimensionalization so that the copy that you're conveying them, you know, it really does a great job at uh, basically inserting itself into the conversation that's already happening in the target audience's minds, right? Because they are having these internal dialogues and monologues. They have their own worldview. They have their own unique uh, already existing desires and fears and pains and frustrations. And you want to tap into those things. So I think this Magalog is a great example of... Um, of getting to, uh, to really highlight those those things. And uh, the headline uh, is a great example of it as well by basically uh, calling out the common enemy because this is an investment newsletter that this promotion is selling. And the one thing you got to know about investment newsletters is that usually the target audience for these are um, people who are older on average, they have more money on average, they're right-leaning leaning on average, they have their pre-existing beliefs about the corrupt government, about the corrupt media, about crooked politicians, about all the people who are trying to screw them over. They have these little paranoid tendencies, sometimes conspiracy theory type of tendencies as well. But hey, they got a lot of money and they invest. They are the people who invest, right? It's not the Gen, Gen Z who has the money. It's these baby boomers or uh, maybe people who are even um, younger than that. But I think this was written uh, in, the, in the early 2000s and... Um, yeah, early 2000s, and back then, you know, uh, there was already uh, an interesting business climate. You know, the, bot the dot com bubble just passed. People felt like a lot of people, uh, a lot of other investors and and uh, stock market gurus and people like that lied to them. Uh, and, uh, you know, they had their guards up. So that's why, how can you persuade those people who are already super? Uh, super skeptical about the stuff that you're trying to sell them. Well, you gotta call out their common, your common enemies actually. So you gotta you gotta call out the enemy and uh, make them feel like you are part of their group. Okay, I mean target audiences group because it's an us versus them dynamic, and this is a really strong, um, really strong uh, persuasion technique to really um, drive the nail home and convert these people. So. <laughs> 
this it's quite the introduction here uh, let's just jump into the copy itself as always you know if you enjoy these videos like the video subscribe to the channel as well uh, share this video with others it helps a ton and fun fact I'm getting married today so uh, regardless of that I'm still gonna do this video right because I'm committed to doing the 100 so if you're gonna like uh, support me on this then like the video right now because it helps a lot and I'm gonna take it as a little wedding gift for you from you so shameless two-faced SOBs love it let's see the subhead while urging you to buy their shares top executives at Microsoft Cisco Genzyme, Symantec, Siebel Systems, Red Hat, Yahoo and many other high-tech companies are quietly dumping billions of dollars worth of their company stock. Okay, so we can already see what's going, what's going to be the big idea most likely. And it's going to be the fact that, you know, if these gurus, you know, they're giving you their insider tips, then why aren't they also doing the same thing that they pe preach, right? Because they, they preach something, like one thing, they should do the same thing. They shouldn't do the opposite. That's that's cause for concern, right? And this is the dominant, uh, slightly paranoid type of emotion that Clayton Makepeace is tapping into really, really well. And then the copy continues. So this is all the headline complex still. It says, revealed inside. How corporate insiders are getting rich at your expense. The ugly truth that America's most powerful corporate fat cats and stock market insiders are hiding from you. So again, think about it. We're tapping into the already existing uh, frustrations that this target audience has with the corporate fat cats and all the frustration that they had from previous, um, you know, uh, various stock market opportunities that they probably missed or the money that they lost. Uh, they have this, they want to blame someone and uh, uh, they already blame these, these corporate fat cats. So as a copywriter, why shouldn't we help them blame them as well, right? Hope it makes sense. So, and then we have an, another nice test, uh, fascination here. Plus, how to turn the tables on them. Insulate your wealth and then use their treachery to grow up to six times richer in 2004, 2005. So... This again taps into dominant emotion of like, I'm gonna stick it to them, right? They rip me off, I'm going to uh, enact my sweet revenge. This is something like that. And then let's see what the lead does here, right? I'm gonna read uh, this one here. This is the lead part of it, uh, which is all, I see that there's a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting, almost bullet-like structures here. And then uh, we're just gonna like skim through the, the rest of it. So, it says, dear investor, so this qualifies people already. I understand that the above statement makes me a renegade, particularly given the, the disparately optimistic rents of so many of Wall Street's talking heads today. So this section, it goes against the grain. It goes, uh, it, it establishes uh, the writer here, who is Martin D. Weiss, who is like the guru behind this promotion. And then obviously Clayton Makepeace is the copywriter who wrote it but establishes him as this renegade. And you know, this target audience usually likes, likes these renegade types of, 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 of figures. Then the copy continues. It's only natural. Tech stocks took off like a rocket last year. So did the rest of the market. And ever since, Wall Street flags and the media have celebrated even the smallest morsel of good news or as if it were the second coming. But they're wrong. No great bull market has ever been built upon such shaky foundations. I know it. In your heart, you know it. <laughs> what a nice qualification element, right? And as we'll see in a moment, even the corporate insiders, the same ones who are urging you to buy their stock, secretly know it. The end of this rally is here. I have never been more confident of any stock market forecast I've ever made. So, wow, it's already super powerful, right? Can you feel the energy? Can you feel the potential frustration that this is uh, tapping into like even it's even relevant today right in 2021 we have this massive bubble we have this massive bull market even the coronavirus pandemic it didn't really uh, create like a true crash or something last March you know uh, the S&P crashed a little bit some other assets crashed a little bit but not too much and since then everything almost everything is at a record high almost everything is in a bubble and um, 
you know, it's just fueled by debt, fueled by new government spending, fueled by free money. You still feel the same way. Investors, a lot of them are super shaky, super uh, stressed about this. They have a lot of anxiety because they feel like the whole foundation of our monetary system and our financial si system is, uh, is, is, is on shaky grounds. And eventually, probably sooner than later, uh, a crash is going to come. But you know, when? Nobody knows. But a lot of people believe this and they are awaiting the crash. So this taps into this specific emotion. So then we get, um, you know, it's very important whenever you make, and this is basically uh, something like a proclamation lead. So it basically predicts something that this some event of, of, of something is going to happen. And uh, whenever you make this, this is obviously a huge claim. And why should people believe you, right? Especially the target audience who've seen it all when it comes to financial promotions. Well, first of all, you have, that's why you got to bring in a good guru who has a nice reputation, Martin D. Weiss in this case, for example. And after you make a promise, after you make a prediction, uh, it's very important to back it off with proof. And that's why the next few sections are all about proof, about correct predict. Um, predictions that Martin D. Weiss did because this uh, signals to the target audience that he's someone who knows his stuff and who is right most of the time. Obviously, there were many cases in which he, he his prediction was completely wrong, but the copy doesn't mention that. So first prediction, not in late 1999 when I correctly forecast the, tr the tech wreck of 2000, uh, just four months before it began to whack investors for five trillion in losses. Uh, not in 2000, when I accurately warned of the blue chip bust of 2001-2002, just before it ripped another uh, 2.6 trillion out of investors' portfolios. Notice all the evocative power words that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, like ripped, ripped it out of, of, of their portfolios. It doesn't say, you know, the market fell, the, the market capitalization of all these companies fell by 2.6 trillion. It says it ripped it out of your pockets. It, 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 it seems much more, much more powerful, right? Much more mm, like it hurt. Not in 2001, when I scooped the financial media, becoming the first to reveal that big brokers' stock ratings were phony and that corporate execs were fudging their earnings reports, and then correctly predicted that their crimes would trigger even more blooding in the, uh, bloodletting in stocks. So, as you can see, we have plenty of these, uh, these predictions, and they're all supercharged with copy. The aim here is to get people emotional, is to get them riled up, is to make them feel like, yeah, you know, I also knew those things, and I, 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 I uh, lost a lot of money in 2002 or in 2003, 2004, and even though I trusted some gurus, like, they didn't deliver. So, uh, after a few of these, uh, the copy continues. In fact, I'm so confident I'm I'm right this time as well. I don't mind once again going out on a limb with this unhatched plain English forecast. Before this impending stock market massacre is over, the life savings, investments and retirement plans of millions will have been decimated and a whole new mass of poverty stricken Americans in their 50s and 60s and beyond will be left naked and alone without the financial security and independence they worked a lifetime for. Wow, right? This, this section alone is a masterpiece in copy. I mean, talk about evocative, powerful language that, that makes people emotional. This one does it, right? In just a few lines, Clayton Makepeace managed to like bring people from, I don't care about this marketing pitch to like, Holy shit, I can lose everything. Oh my god, I gotta find out more. And then, you know, when they when they believe this, that's where the copy uh, naturally shifts into messaging like, I do not want that for you. So I'm with you, dear reader, Martin D. Weiss. I am here to help you. I bring you insider information. That's why I've rushed this urgent alert to you today. And it's why I'm about to offer you $1,539 worth of investment tools I expressly designed with one goal in mind, to help you survive and prosper. So there you have the reason why, behind why, why people should read the entire uh, sales letter, right? Well, what a great uh, element to include in a lead section. So then we continue. Nevertheless, my worst fear is that this great crash may have already begun 
before this urgent warning and this sincere offer to help could reach you. If so, please do not give up hope. There is still time to protect what's left and replace any money that you've lost. So this gives keep people new hope if they're in the position that they lost money, it's kind of like a unique new opportunity for them. And if they haven't lost money yet, uh, it it still makes them curious. Hmm. So let me see, like, am I doing the right things by protecting my money or is it something that I'm missing? That's the thing. That's the reaction that this is generating in people. And then the copy continues, even more than that, there's time to turn this rare period of convulsive change into one of the greatest profit opportunities of your lifetime with investment that have the proven potential to soar as much as 552% uh, in times like these, but only if you take action right now. So here's the built in natural urgency, why you should care about it, why now? You know, there's this uh, famous uh, financial copywriter called Evaldo Albuquerque. He's probably one of the highest paid copywriters at the moment. He works for the Agora companies and he's written several winning promos over the last few years. And he's also written a great book called The 16 Worlds Word Sales Letter. And uh, in it, he lists a bunch of questions, 10 questions that you have to answer if you want people to convert. Questions like, who are you and why should I trust you? Why should I care about this? How do I know this is real? Why should I act now? You know, all these questions, they're pretty well answered in this re lead, right? So if you if you read it, and I even recommend, uh, you, you might want to also hand copy this part because it's so, so nice, so, so, it's, it's a, such an incredibly amazing example of great copy that only people like Clayton Makepeace can produce. It's crazy. So, uh, and note, also notice the specifics as well. 562% as much as it, it, it's specific. Who would make that up? Right? It seems like it, it, it came off, came out of some research project or something. And, um, and, uh, it, it gives credibility to the whole thing. So then the final few paragraphs of the lead here, that's why it's so crucial that you read this report cover to cover, and it's why you simply must send for the free investment tools I've created for you right away. Please, I urge you, read the enclosed report before it's too late. Thanks for safe, yours for safe money, Martin D. Weiss. So uh, yeah, it's, it's an amazing, it's an amazing way to get attention, to get interest, to get some desire in people, to generate it, and to also uh, create curiosity in people as well. Really powerful. And um, we have, actually, we have another section here, which kind of could be a lead of its own. Let's just read this as well, right? First of all, you know, this is probably like a, a quick insert or something that uh, that makes people want to uh, read the uh, the big bigger Magalog, the bigger sales letter here. Um, so this main section, it uh, it uh, repeats the same headline, the same headline concept, uh, headline complex actually. Oh, sorry, guys, but I'm so tired with, with uh, organizing all these wedding related stuff. But still, I'm still here with you. So don't worry. Um, we have the headline and the subhead, um, you know, repeated. And we have another type of very personal messaging, right? It starts, dear fellow investor, there's not a doubt in my mind. The handwriting is on the wall. A great stock market catastrophe is now virtually locked in and it's set to begin at almost any moment. So talk about you know painting demons on the wall like uh, summoning people's fears here and believe me corporate directors and executives the people who know their companies better than just about anyone are scared stiff how do i know this is a nice little um objection handling like right how do i know simple corporate insiders are dumping their own company stocks like there's no tomorrow so think about it Think about this for a minute. Um, you notice a trend that a lot of big CEOs and stockholders and people like that uh, are starting to dump stocks. They're starting to short companies. And obviously you take notice and you, you, you start to question why, why is this happening? Like they're preaching that we're in this uh, great market bubble or like not even bubble, but great market uh, expansion and yet they're selling these things. So they're afraid of something. So what can they be afraid of? And I'm sure that they know something that I don't know, right? 
this is all the thing this is all the internal monologue that people in our target audience are having in their minds so if they're having this already that's why you gotta just slice in uh your copy and 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 insert it it's like a virus right your idea virus you insert it into the already uh, working cell of the target audience so that you uh i wouldn't say take over but like you validate their pre-existing beliefs and um, and and make a, a very persuasive argument so in a sense it is kind of like taking over by a virus but obviously you you got to make it in an ethical way right and i have full doubts that clayton makepeace did it ethically because he was a great guy so here we have a little hero shot of uh, of martin d wise himself and we've seen him before i actually broke down um a promotion from clayton uh like 30 videos ago go it was called invest without fear and basically it sold the same type of the same product actually but it had a radically different story a radically different big idea and uh, different lead as well different parts of the copy but as i was scrolling through this i noticed a few places which which use the same copy actually almost verbatim for example there's this when dr y speaks washington and wall street listen this one mirrors almost exactly the promotion that i already did called how to invest or, or invest without fear so this is a great credibility booster uh part which gives a lot of proof to this person so you know we start the the main part of the sales letter by having another type of lead uh we also build a lot of desire by saying you know by giving people already um very specific tips like investments that could make you up to six times richer uh even though the dow jones don't industrial average dropped and the uh, nasdaq plummeted uh by contrast dr weiss's recommendations soared as much as 562 percent so once again it's proof we're making promises here we're making claims so we gotta back it up with proof and uh, that's why you know um we make the case that Dr. Weiss was right so many times before and look at all these these uh, rates of return that uh, that you know over the same period of time generated plus plus money plus returns but Dr. Weiss's advice generated way more because it's 562 percent against like the 59 percent of S&P 500 hmm okay so that means you should pay attention right right <laughs> okay so then probably what the copy does here is that um it sets up the unique mechanism of the problem which is that okay so the problem why you are in danger dear reader is because something bad is about to happen and the corporate fat cats know about it and they are trying to like save their money already that's why they are selling a bunch of stuff so it's cause for concern um so uh clayton gives a few examples of insiders who are saying one thing but then doing something else and then he even says stuff like how many purchases were reported by the same insiders zero zilch nada in the computer and office equipment industry it's even worse 62 insider sales worth 68 million and again not a single reported purchase so people are selling everything you know and we have very specific numbers as you can see it really gives credibility to the whole thing and then we continue and that's just the top brass the pace of insider selling in these industries is even heavier when you include insiders such as beneficial shareholders family members trusts institutions these rats are voting with their feet what a nice way to say it right instead of saying you know they're uh dumping their stocks Clayton decided to say something like these rats are voting with their feet which means they're running like cowards uh because why 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 do we use so, such aggressive and visual language in big red font well because that's what the target audience wants to hear right we talked about this before this is what they believe they uh they don't like corporate fat cats they don't like wall street they don't like these types of people and whenever they read something like this they feel a little bit reassured so then we have even more um even more examples specific examples 
corporate insiders are telling you to buy, but they're dumping as fast as they can. And then you have a few examples, Bill Gates, like many people hate Bill Gates, even to this day, like so many people consider him like devil or something like this. He's like this guy who wants to take over control over us with microchips and in vaccines and stuff like that. Bill Gates was always hated in some regard. And, um, and uh, you know, it can be made into a great common enemy. But since you're here watching this video, you're smart. You know that this is just a copywriting technique. This is a PR technique, right? Uh, it's just positioning him as a scapegoat positioning him as a common enemy that people can rile against, okay? And the same thing is happening in media as well. Like, people aren't one-sided, aren't like someone's always evil and someone's always um, not evil, evil. Go watch uh, Attack on Titan, one of the best anime, in my opinion, uh, over the last 20 years or something. And it's one of the best stories that I have ever, ever watched. Uh, and it shows you how it shows you a world in which uh, even the uh, the main antagonists, so the bad guys, have their own motivations as well. And very rarely can you say that someone's really, really bad and someone's really, really good. Uh, it's it's always a matter of perspective. So uh, yeah, we have even more examples that they're telling you to buy, and they're yet yeah, they're selling more proof that backs it off. You know, uh, very specific numbers, and this shows like all these things came from research. Clayton researched this, right? And that's that's the mark of a great copywriter. He doesn't just say something generic like, oh, okay, so they're selling stocks, and then you should believe me because of that. Instead, he's like bringing all these. It's like a, it's like a case. Uh, whenever you're a lawyer and you have to defend someone, an idea or something, you make you construct a case for it or against it. And the same thing is done by the copywriter itself. That's why great copywriters, they're like lawyers and they have to learn how to uh, reason well, how to um, uh, influence people emotionally well, how to win friends and influence people, you know, all that good stuff. Even more examples. Um, all things, you know, just backing off the main proof that the main uh, promise that Clayton made in the beginning of the sales letter. And then eventually on page eight, we get uh, a glimpse at what's going on here, what's going to be the offer itself. This is for people who are more hyper responsive. And it says, insulate your money now from the great NASDAQ bubble of 2004. Stocks whose earnings have fallen as much as 99.5% are still selling for up to 4,503 times earnings. So we have some great examples here. Uh, this you know, gives people a lot of great tips that they can start using right away, but it also teases that, hey, if you get all these free stuff, you're gonna get so, so, so much more, so much more insider information. And the copy even says, I urge you, send for, send for your 10 free investment guides before it's too late. Each investment guide is an $89 value for a total value of $890, but it's yours absolutely free for now. If you, if you, uh, take the, uh, if you buy the paid newsletter, basically. And we've seen this offer structure before so many times. Basically, you just pump out the value, pump up the value of the bonuses, of the special reports, and then you mention that, you know, you can get it for free when you buy the, uh, the paid newsletter, which is going to be an irresistible offer anyway. So it's sometimes it's important to set these things up right from the beginning. And you see, we get, uh, a lot of specific tips on what to uh, dump now. So this is real value for a target audience. This is called giving away steak. Like, uh, but then we have giving away sizzle as well uh, by saying plus 84 more popular stocks to dump now in your free reports. So this is kind of like a trailer. We're, we're building people, we're showing people that we have the good stuff. And here's a sample of it. This is like getting people addicted to crack right? Hey, here's a free sample, or maybe two free samples, maybe 10 free samples. But then as people try it out, they're going to be like, oh, okay, so I want to get the other, the rest of it as well, eventually. But obviously, it's way healthier. And it's uh, actually there to protect people, to protect people and, and make them help them make more money. What are the US investors thinking anyway? Okay, uh, more stuff here. Think your Dow and S&P 500 stocks are safe. Think again. So I think this is a great uh, objection handling element here because uh, nowadays it's very popular to say that 
you know, you shouldn't really think about individual stocks, but you should just buy an index fund like S&P 5, the S&P 500, just passively invest in it and you'll be good to go because so far on average, historically, uh, the S&P had like, a, I don't know, 6.5% or 7% uh, annual return on average, if you go back 30 years or something. Uh, obviously, that, that's no indication for the future, even though most people think that if, if for 30 years it did well, it's going to do well in 31st year. I mean, there's there's no guarantee for that at all. This is just a cognitive bias. But many people think that, you know, I invest in the S&P 500, which means I diversify my portfolio uh, between the top 500 best companies, right, at the moment. Uh, and then I'm safe because I'm diversified. But Clayton knows that this is going to be a big objection and he preemptively uh, answers it like by saying, you know, no, no, it's, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Even if you have the S&P 500, uh, you can still get screwed. So that's why you should pay attention and get my product now. Um, what to do to protect yourself. As you can see, I created my wealth protector library to help you weather the storm with your wealth intact. So we get, we start getting a, um, a description of the main product itself, the wealth builder kit, the wealth protecting library. Everything is, is related to like protecting your wealth. So it seems like it's all about the customer. And then we get, uh, we start getting these high level overviews of the 10 free gifts that, that we've seen before here. You see, we have 10 free gifts and uh, like we wanna build some desire for them, right? And that's why we give a little bit of uh, overview, uh, a few bullets, like desire building bullets and fascinations. And uh, by doing this, we are uh, greatly increasing the um, the appeal of these free bonuses for people because if you just you know flash something like this hey here's a bunch of free bonuses people are gonna be like yeah okay that sounds cool but why should i care they're free probably they're worthless or something but if you give them fascinations like the three money traps that are set to smash your stocks stock and bond portfolios oh that's interesting why washington will have no choice but to raise your taxes again and again so good stuff here so we have free gift number one free gift number two here we have proof media praise because you know we're making the prediction we're giving people specific information that might trigger their bullshit alarm so we gotta back it up with proof now so we back back it up with proof um and more info about the free gifts and more proof so it's the same thing that gary bensevenga mentioned ages ago uh, when he formulated his Bensivenga persuasion equation, you know, in order to create, uh, in, in order to persuade someone, you need to find a unique problem, you uh, like an urgent problem, you got to give them a unique promise, you got to back it off with unquestionable proof, and then you have to give them uh, a user friendly proposition. And we have all these things here. Uh, but in this section, we have the promises because I promise that this one delivers you these things. And then here's the proof that you should trust me. Boom, media proof. Boom, more media proof. Like what else do you need? Like obviously this guy probably knows his stuff, right? Uh, he's been on on, on, on all, these, um, all these TV shows and he's been featured in books and other media appearances. So then at the same time, we're building up the value for these free bonuses. Um, and then you get even more, like you get the free gift number five, free gift number six, interest rate bonanza, interest rate bonanza, stock market bonanza, like you're overwhelming people with value here, overwhelming them, even more, um, you know, uh, free bonuses. And let's just see the topics of these bonuses, right? Think about it. The main product is an investment newsletter, basically, how to protect your wealth. And um, what bonuses could go well with these? Uh, well, think about the major problems and the pain points that tar people in our target audience have and then try to come up with bonuses that solve these problems. So let's see whether these bonuses do that. So the first bonus is called your wealth is under attack. Well, that relates to it. So probably it's an interesting bonus. The second, defend your investment safety net now. Okay, this is nice. 
uh, a safety net is definitely important for a target audience. Think about it. They're, they've retired, most likely, or they're in their 50s or something like that. They've worked their entire lives to build up a safety net like a nest tag. They want to protect it. So this bonus could be very valuable for them. Bonus number three, inflation proof your portfolio. Again, they know that inflation is basically a hidden tax on, on people and they want to protect it. Pump up your income. This is for people who are still earning an income or maybe income from stocks or from other investments. Interest rate bonanza. Uh, how to how to get more interest rates? You know how to get more return from the, from the same money pool. How to know the stock market even better? Free gift number seven. Gold boom bonanza. Because you know whenever there's a boom on the stock market, whenever we have more money printing or like inflation is higher, gold always goes up and it generates buzz. And uh, you know it could be an interesting bonus here because it's on people's minds. So you never know which, which of these bonuses persuades people to actually uh, buy the newsletter itself. So you never know, it's interesting. But you gotta give them options. And another very interesting thing is that you also get free access to the Safe Money website, all of today's most advanced investment tools in one convenient place. So convenient, one place, and you're gonna be cool because think about it, this was written in the early 2000s. Like back then the internet wasn't the internet that we know today. There wasn't any like widespread mobile technology and stuff like that, uh, at least not internet on the mobile. And uh, by offering them something like this, this was really cutting edge. So uh, it's, an, it's another dimension of, of a great bonus. But at the same time, we're getting uh, more bonuses, right? introductions to more bonuses energy boom bonanza because again energy companies they 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 often do well when the the rest of the economy is doing well um the wise ratings 100 best stocks in america and the 100 worst again this is kind of like hey i've done the work for you dear reader you just read this it's easy you make what i tell you and you make a lot of money that's the uh that's the promise here and then you also get urgent flash alerts when fast breaking market events warrant. So again, let me be your uh, protector, your guide, dear reader. Me, uh, Dr. What's his name? Weissman or something like that. Um, Martin D. Weiss. Martin D. Weiss. So we, we're, we're, we're basically bombarding people with all sorts of bonuses. We're overwhelming them. We're basically... Uh, just dumping a whole wall on them with bonuses, a wall made up of bonuses, like, boom, here you go. Um, then we have some proof as well. So proof and promise. So basically, as you can see, these types of sales letters, they're pretty formulaic. They have the, the headline, the lead, they have some other unique mechanism or problem or some type of these, these things, a common enemy. Uh, and then you have a bunch of promises backed up with a bunch of proof. And then uh, you just play up the value of all these uh, bonuses. And at the end, you go to the closing section. So we're actually getting to the closing uh, section here. Um, so at this point, we covered all the bonuses. We've built up the value of these. Like, hey, look at these. They're like $460 value. And you get this for free and that for free. And, uh, you know everything for free uh, and we have some price drops as well you know together these 10 reports give you $890 worth uh, of 100% objective conflict of interest free analysis and advice for free and add the $460 value uh, of the safe money website plus the $189 you save on your membership and here you have it you get like $1539 in free gifts and discounts plus my $100 money back guarantee. So it seems like an amazingly great deal, right? And we even foreshadowed this because we said uh, somewhere in the beginning here, I do not want this for you. That's why I've rushed this urgent alert to you today. And it's why I'm about to do, uh, offer you $1,539 uh, $1, worth of investment tools I expressly designed with one goal in mind to help you survive and prosper. So there we have it. We opened the loop here and we closed it way towards the end, way towards the end here. 
So, you know, you get an irresistible offer at this this point, you know. Uh, we get more price anchors, how, you know, this should cost a minimum of $5,000. But right now, you don't have to uh, pay ne not nearly as much. Remember, you know, you get this and that and that. This is just a, a typical... Um, like showcase of all the things you're getting when you buy today you know we use these even today in various sales letters it's very important to remind people of these things and then finally we uh where's the price of the offer the main price um we also get the money back guarantee and ordering instructions. Like we've seen this before many times. It works, guys. Okay, it's great. It works. And it's a masterclass in great copywriting. Um, you know, you can buy toll by dialing this toll-free number. We have some testimonials. We have some other proof elements. And uh, we have a separate like little insert called... I mean, this is basically the, 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 the money back guarantee section here. And... Uh, join me for two years and save, you know, uh, all this money when you buy this. And um, like, how can you say no to this, right? This guy, we've built up a lot of trust for him. Uh, he's giving you all this stuff for free. And then you even save half of your trial membership in the Safe Money Investor Service. So you save, 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 save so much. And at the end of the day, you know, we have these, this typical order form type of thing that we've seen before. It's pre-ticked, uh, which is kind of like a micro commitment. Uh, and notice that it's called free gift certificate. It's not called order form because, uh, and you know, like discounts and free gifts and everything, because it, it, it makes people feel like you're, they're getting the, the bargain of their lives, right? Uh, so the best offer here is 189 so you're getting all this for 189 for a two-year subscription actually it's a pretty ex expensive newsletter if you think about it because even to this day like they're usually cheaper they're usually like 49 dollars or something like that but you are getting a lot of great stuff here so 189 you know you save a lot and you get all these great stuff if you get get the great offer you know uh, for one year, you can get the whole thing for $99, but then you only get like five bonuses. Uh, and then you can also check this fast response bonus. So this is the fast action bonus. We've seen this before again and again, again, <laughs> again, three times. Uh, if you respond within 10 days, um, then you're also going to get uh, free copies of the wise ratings. You know, this is kind of like a special bonus. And then we have to order variations, you know, more stuff on the left side, call to action, the super, it, it's free, it's quick, it's easy, it's painless. We want to make the whole buying process as frictionless as possible. We don't want to make people work at all because then they won't convert. And this is the envelope probably. So I, just like I said, remember what I said in the beginning of the video. People in our target audience, they have this pre-existing notion in their minds that, you know, betrayed again. Corporate fat cats are setting you up for yet another fleecing. You're the sheep. They're the wolves of Wall Street. And they're going to fleece you. What a nice way to say it, right? Instead of saying, hey, danger, you're going to lose money. Betrayed again. Corporate fat cats are setting you up for yet another fleecing. This may be the last time I'll be able to send you this dire warning. Nice urgency. So I urge you, even if you've never paid attention to my economic forecast before, please, for your own sake, heed this one in this urgent alert. So you got to bump things up a little bit because otherwise people are going to be like A pile and B pile with their mails, right? They're going to be like, hmm, this sounds like a blatant marketing pitch. I don't care. This sounds interesting. So they're going to open it. And when they open it, they're going to start, you know, the lead and they're going to start reading all these things and they're going to see the numbers and gonna, they're going to see the proof and they're going to see all the special bonuses that they're going to get for free. And it's like, it's a slippery slope as, uh, as Joe Sugarman said it, like you want to create copy that's like a slippery slope. People start on the top and they slide all the way to the bottom. 
So yeah, it's a pretty cool example. Uh, so definitely like the video if you enjoyed this breakdown. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm super tired because I'm getting married today. Uh, not because I'm getting married, but you know, if you've been in my situation before that, you know, this needs a lot of uh, planning and a lot of execution, a lot of things go wrong and stuff like that, especially during Corona. But I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that my stumbling, my stumbling words and my not so perfect execution of this video uh, still gave you a lot of value. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this with others. And uh, I'm, we still have like four or five videos to go. Uh, we're going to do it. Stay with me until the end and see you in the next one. Cheers.